3,000 years. And yet this Arab, Muhammad, may peace and blessings of God be upon him, he is saying that a Jewess, the mother of Jesus, she was chosen above the women of all nations. Not his own mother or his wife or his daughter, Fatima, whom we Muslims believe will be the leader of the women of paradise. No. Mary, the mother of Jesus, was a woman chosen above the women of all nations. I say account for that. Account for it. Why should an Arab go out of his way and provoke his own people and honor this Jewess? As some would say, a woman from his opposition, a nation who opposes the Arabs. Why should he do that? Unless he was commanded to say so, to do so, which actually this is what he says that this is given to me by inspiration. It is not what I want to say or what I feel like saying. This is given to me, and I have no alternative but to give it to you as I receive it, the message. Verse 45, chapter 3, verse 45. It continues. Is Excuse me, uh, lady, there will be time for questions. Let the speaker carry on. At the end of the session, we'll give you an opportunity. Please let the speaker carry on. Chapter 3, verse 45. It continues. The birth of Jesus. Is qalatil malaikatu ya Maryamu. So behold, the angel said, O Mary, inna allaha yubashiruki bi kalimatim minhu that Allah gives you glad tidings, good news, of a word from him. Ismuhul Masih, his name will be the Messiah, translated Christ. Ismuhul Masih, Isa ibn Maryama, Jesus the son of Mary, wajihan fi dunya wal akhira, held in honor in this world and in the hereafter, wa minal muqarrabin, and of the company of those nearest to God. What the Christian would say, sitting on the right hand of God. Many people misunderstand, thinking that God Almighty is sitting on a glorified chair, a throne, and Jesus Christ on another little chair by his side, like a little flea or a molecule. Imagine if God Almighty is sitting on a throne physically, then Jesus, you know, he wouldn't be even a speck. No honor. No. What it means is in Eastern languages, when we say sitting on my right hand, it doesn't literally mean sitting on my right hand. It's a position of respect. The Quran says that he will be in the company of those nearest to God, not physically, not geographically, spiritually. And he will speak to the people. In childhood and in maturity. And he shall be of the company of the righteous. This is a prophecy. The good news is being given to you that your child, as an infant, he will speak. And as a grown up, normally, naturally. But as an infant, in childhood, he will be gifted. And we find the fulfillment of this prophecy within months of this good enunciation that was being made to her within months. And we find this in the Holy Quran in a chapter called Surah Maryam, meaning chapter Mary. This chapter 19 is named in honor of the mother of Jesus Christ. Surah Maryam, chapter Mary. You know, in this whole vast volume, there is no chapter in the name of Muhammad's mother or his wife or his daughter. Can you imagine? But the chapter 19 is in honor of the name of the mother of Jesus. Surah Maryam, chapter 19. It tells us, verse 27, I'm starting, that after the birth of the child, these circumstances being peculiar, she had retired to a remote place in the east. There is no Joseph the carpenter in the Quran. You know Joseph the carpenter? There's no mention about Joseph the carpenter here. This is a miraculous birth, and it speaks it, about it miraculously. 
There is no genealogy of Jesus like we find in the, in the New Testament, in the Gospel of St. Matthew and the Gospel of St. Luke. Between the two, they give this man, mighty messenger of God, 66 fathers and grandfathers. 66. A child that was born miraculously, they go out of the way to give him a genealogy. The Quran does not speak about any genealogy. It does not mention Joseph the carpenter or any other carpenter. So the circumstances of the conception being peculiar was immaculate. She retired to a remote place in the east, says the Quran, and after the birth of the child, she returns. Shamelessly, of course, carrying the little child infant in her arms. At length, she brought the babe to her people, carrying him in her arms. Qalu, they said, Ya Maryam, O oh Mary, laqad ji'ti shayan fariya. So truly an amazing thing has thou brought. They are shocked, knowing full well that she was not married. Where did you bring this child from? The insinuating, illegitimate child. Where did you get this child from? Shamelessly parading in the village. Ya ukhta Haruna, the so, O oh sister of Harun, coming such a noble, ancestry of the children of Aaron, the brother of Moses, the Levites, the priestly class among the Jews. You come from such a priestly and noble family. Your father was not a man of evil, nor thy mother a woman unchaste, insinuating. Where did you bring this illegitimate child from? What is she to do? Would they listen to her explanation? Would you listen to your daughter's explanation? If she tells you, says, Daddy, you know, I heard some voices, and now this child is born, you'll believe her. Would you? <laughs> they were in no mood to listen to such stories. What was she to do? She merely pointed to the babe. Fa'asharat ilay, says the Quran. She merely pointed to the child and says, ask him. She knew that this was no ordinary child. Ask him. So they say, qalu kaifa nukallimu man kana fil mahdi sabiya. They say, how can we talk to one who's a child in the cradle? A baby, an infant, how can we talk to him? And by a miracle, he spoke from his mother's arms and defended his mother against an unbelieving audience. He says, Inni Abdullah. So most certainly I am the servant of Allah. Kitab. He has given me revelation. Waja'alani Nabiya and he has made me a prophet. Waja'alani Mubarakan Ainama Kuntu. Wausani Bisola Tiwa Zakati Madun to Hayya. Wabaran Biwalidati. Wala Mijaani Jabbar and Shaqiya. He said, I am indeed a servant of God. He had given me revelation and made me a prophet. And he had made me blessed wheresoever I be. So, and he hath made enjoined on me prayer and charity as long as I live. And he has made me kind to my mother and not overbearing or miserable. He has made me kind to my mother and not overbearing or miserable. This is the first miracle that Jesus Christ performed according to this holy book of Islam. He defended his mother against an unbelieving audience as an infant from his mother's arms. I want you to compare this first miracle of Jesus with the first miracle that Jesus Christ performed according to the Holy Bible. You know what miracle he performed? It was at the marriage feast at Cana. You read in the Gospel of St. John that Jesus and his disciples had gone there and they ran short of wine. Wine. So his mother comes to him. This is my son. Knowing that he's got that mysterious powers. God had given him powers. 